Yeah, I'd like a large coffee with nothing in it. Okay, that will be $743. What are you, crazy? I just want a simple coffee. Well, sir, in order for the government to allow this establishment to sell coffee, there are certain minimal essential coffee benefits that they are required to provide. Like what? They are legally required to provide milk, a travel mug, a straw, and numerous other items that the government has deemed necessary for you to have. Okay, first off, I don't want a straw, I don't want a travel mug, and I don't want any milk in my coffee. I just want a simple coffee. I don't think you understand. This is for your own safety. I don't care if you think it's for my own safety. I'm responsible enough to drink coffee on my own. The only thing that I want is a basic coffee. That's it. Well, the government has deemed it necessary for you. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm just going to go to another coffee shop and get exactly what I want. What is that going to get you? That's going to get me a coffee. No, you don't understand. This is a government mandate. Any coffee provider must comply with these regulations or their license to do business will be revoked. Fine, then it looks like I'm not going to be buying any coffee at all. Hold on there, not so fast. What? I'm not going to be purchasing any coffee. It's a free country, isn't it? <laughs> of course it's a free country, or at least we like to tell you that. You're free not to purchase this coffee. However, not doing so will require you to pay 1% of your yearly income as a penalty. What? I make 50 grand a year. That means I have to pay 500 bucks to this coffee shop to not receive any coffee in return? Of course you won't have to pay this coffee shop $500. That would be ridiculous. Oh, okay, good. You'll have to pay it to the government. And then the next year you'll need to pay $1,000, the year after that $1,250, and then whatever arbitrary number the government wants after that. Okay, okay, this is some kind of joke, right? Where's the hidden camera? We had to institute this policy because some people needed coffee, whether they could pay for it or not, and it had to be provided to them. This placed an undue burden on everyone else, so our solution was to place an undue burden on everyone else. Well, who forced the providers to give away the coffee for free? Well, the government required it, whether those people could pay for it or not. So there was a problem created by forcing vendors to provide free coffee to people. And now the solution to that is to force other people to purchase more coffee at ridiculous rates. Well, you might want to have coffee in the future, so we need to make sure that you pay for it now, whether you actually want it or not. We like to call it the individual shared responsibility payment. It sounds like a contradiction in terms, because it is. Every time you buy coffee, we need to take most, I mean some, of that money and provide coffees free of charge to those who we think need it, and also to people who consistently vote for us. Plus, we can then use that money to purchase a website for millions of dollars that simply won't work. Wouldn't it make more sense to just let me pick what I want to buy and the provider pick what they want to sell and let us handle it amongst ourselves? But then how would we pay for programs that you don't want? 